What's going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to another video. I hope y'all been well and I hope y'all been hustling. If you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Tony and I got a cargo van business. I like to share knowledge on the cargo van business, how I got started, and I like to share ways on how to make money with your cargo van. I've been able to acquire four local contracts and between me and my driver, we get it done. It's all about hustling, it's all about putting in the work, and it's all about moving forward. So if you like this type of content, leave a comment, say what's up, and subscribe for more. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna share with you today how much was my startup cost, and I'm also gonna share with you how much my business made in its first year. All right, so in order to start your cargo van business, you need an LLC, you need an IEN number, commercial insurance, you need the cargo van, and you need a business bank account. So let's start with the LLC and the IEN number. I went to a local office here in Jersey and I was quoted $350 in order to start up your LLC. You just have to go around and find out where it's cheaper because I went to another office and they quoted me $650 in order to start my LLC. There is also a ton of websites that you could use you just gotta do your research on that part. So that's what I paid, $350. It could be different for you, depending on where you are. It could be $400, $500. But for me, it was $350. And just remember, once you start your LLC, you're still gonna have to wait 21 days in order for it to be active. All right, so the next step will be a business bank account. I just went to the bank and I opened a business checking account with $100 and that's it. Alright, so next will be the cargo van itself. I didn't want to go crazy with a $30,000, $40,000 truck, so I purchased a 2001 Ford Econoline E350. I paid $5,000 for it and it had $180,000 when I first purchased it. As of right now, it has almost 210,000 miles and it hasn't given me any major problems yet. Another reason why I chose this truck was because a lot of the companies and shippers around me, they didn't have a year limit. Usually they do have a year limit. They have to be 2015 and above. So make sure you do your research when it comes to buying the right cargo van in your local area. All right, so because commercial insurance was so expensive, I let it be my last step. I went on and got commercial insurance for my cargo van and the upfront down payment was $960. All right, so all of that together is $6,410, but I forgot to mention tax and registration for my first vehicle, which was around $220 and let's also assume $300 for tools like the straps or, or a dolly. So that brings us to a grand total of $6,930 to start my cargo van business. All right, so how much did my cargo van business made in its first year? For my first year, I started out with one contract and by the end of the year, I had three contracts. I didn't have a driver at the time because I was just starting out, but I would do two contracts combined into one route in the morning and then in the afternoon I would do another small route. And eventually I purchased my Ford Transit Connect so I can do my afternoon contract because I was spending too much money on gas using my E350 cargo van to do that afternoon contract. All right, so in my first year, my cargo van business made $95,366 with 63 cents. If you compare that to my starting cost, you see that it has been very rewarding for me, but it has been a lot of work also. And of course, this amount is before all expenses and I still have to pay taxes on it. All right, so this may seem simple, but it's a lot of work behind it. It's a lot of early mornings and it takes a lot of dedication. You got to do your research. You got to find out what's the best for you, whether it's OTR or local contracts. You got to find out which van would be best for you. You just got to stay on top of your game and you got to do your research. 
like this video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.